7,220 pounds, the spaceship looking Whitehawk 29 FLS landed down here at Advantage One RV Brokers, the consignment division of Halet Auto and RV, where we sell RVs on behalf of the owners, but don't let that worry your little head. We still do hitching pieces, parts, straights, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. And folks, it's sad in a way, but beneficial for you. This RV was never used. Not even once. Now, if you're like me, when you hear something like that, your spidey senses go off and you instantly go, wait a minute, what's wrong with it? Why wasn't it ever used? And you freak out. And the, the good news is, that's completely unfounded in this case. The uh, original owner purchased the RV and then work got busy. They never had a chance to use it. That's the only reason it's here. They just never had the opportunity and they finally looked at each other and go, look, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. And when things kind of relax a little bit, maybe then we'll get back into it. But for now, it just doesn't make sense to keep trying to do this. I love that big fan up there. So this is an unconventional layout. This is a front living room with a rear bed full slide and like one of the coolest bedroom master suites you're gonna see. But it has a really unique, different sort of layout to it. It does a lot of unusual things you don't always see. First of all, the, the, the window coverage in this is just tremendous. And they're super heavy tinted, as you noticed outside. They all have uh, blackout shades. But look at those mega windows on either side of that big front kind of sofa lounge area. That is something that is very different and very cool. And it really opens it right up. Now... That, in conjunction with the vaulted ceiling that you see up here, it really makes the whole living room look and feel quite, quite large. Although, of course, you can always, you know, close all those things down. But what's nice is this is not just for couples. And what's great here is you take something really made for couples, and suddenly you make it very guest-friendly. You can sleep one or two adults on that big hide bed pretty easily. But what's great is this has a big, what I call, true U-dinette. It's like seven foot long. So if need be, you can slide another person over there and you can easily sleep four to five adults in this. And really, that's I'm, I'm just noticing that's an extra wide sleeper sofa like you might find, uh, say, in a North Point fifth wheel. If you had three little kids, you see there's three cushions, one, two, three, you could probably plop one of them there, you know, hot dog style and... <laughs> spin them around when they're done <laughs> focus and back up front here I like little LED accent lights below the seating areas just little touches like that but both sides of that sofa have individual uh, either bright white reading or like I don't know flood lamps or blue reading lamps which is kind of cool I like the slide accent end walls there within the slide room itself and let me give you just kind of a look over everything here, and then we'll get all the uh, kitchen storage and, and all that good stuff open. Skylight at the top of the apex of the vaulted ceiling, really opening it right up in here. And I love the really rich, warm, and welcoming color palette that we have. Down below, there's a handy little clutter cut and shoe garage, and you see the electric space heating fireplace. Now, you might notice in that stereo is the original little thing, uh, the, the little kind of flyer that just sort of sticks in the auxiliary headphone jack. There's plastic still on the stovetop face. When I say this RV wasn't used, I don't mean like, oh, they didn't use it a lot. This RV was not used. Ever. Ever. You're literally getting a never used new RV at a used price tag. Now, naturally, there is uh, you know no warranty associated with that because even never used is still technically classified used, legally speaking. But again, holy cow, guys. Compared to where these things ring in brand new, or ring in brand new, uh, <laughs> you're saving a mint here. Cabinetry is all pocket screwed, hardwood cabinet doors, solid surface countertops here in the kitchen. I like that pop-up power tower back there, kind of hidden behind the sort of Swan Lake high-rise sprayer faucet job that we have here. So you have a roll-away dish drying rack, bamboo cutting board, again, none of which were ever used. A really good example of that is if you come over here, like, the stovetop is still gleaming pristine. The oven was obviously never fired up because there's still owner's manuals in it. And actually, just in case, because we do some quality control stuff, I'm going to get those out of there. I, I, 
I don't I don't want that to be a thing. <laughs> Down below, great drawer capacity. And it's a deceptively large kitchen counter. It extends far past the sink, which means they had room for these big drawers over here. Now, next to the eight cubic foot two-way oven, you uh, two-way oven, that's an interesting thing. Two-way refrigerator and freezer. There we go. There is a serious pantry that, once again, it's easily, uh, you know, underappreciated until you actually get right up here and check that out. But down below the dinette, we also have some storage. There's a couple of handy doors there to give you easy storage access. Now the rear bench is a little trickier to get to, thankfully. Jayco, when they built this, added a cargo door to the outside of the slide face to make it easy to get to the uh, cargo below the dinette. From here we move through that privacy door to the walk-through middle bathroom. Which is really nice because if you do have some guests, they, you know, they have to walk, they, they don't walk in on top of you, I guess is what I'm getting at. You have your own private master bed in the back. And another thing is, a rear bedroom is a rare find, and it keeps you a little bit further away from the foot traffic of the campsite. If you're a little bit of a light sleeper, you might appreciate that. Now, the tall ceiling and the, due to the vault, and the skylight in front of the shower head right there, Gives this thing just excellent headroom. And that is a nice big radius. For like one season, uh, the RV industry called that a spa style shower. And then that name just kind of phased out. And he never really saw or heard that again. Which, I don't know, it's always weird when that happens. Now the kitchen storage was kind of just like the appetizer. And then this is like <laughs> when your, your significant other doesn't finish their appetizer. So you tend to polish that off but it's the bedroom where that storage really comes in. Porcelain foot flush uh, stool, by the way. What's also neat is this door right here that I'm walking through does lock. So if you want a separate kind of, uh, you know, I wanna make sure that I'm secure and safe or uh, I, I don't sleep good if I feel like somebody can walk in on me, this bedroom can provide that sort of thing. Now the look of this rear master suite back here and and i think that is a good descriptor for it it's unlike virtually anything else so first of all this is a 60 by 80 true queen but if you're looking at the model you can see it does appear to be king capable there's plenty of room on both sides of the bed you'd sacrifice a little bit of walk around space but you get a bigger bag bed at night if that's what you're interested in then down here you see this interesting little it's a good place to like sit down to put on pants or shoes it could be like a little reading nook or something like that but it is flanked by and surrounded by nothing but storage space. Pull that shade to get some of that extra light pollution out of there to give you a better look at this thing. But I mean, the, the total storage here, because you look at this, you say, oh man, they lost some storage with that, that rear window. I don't know. I don't know. I think this thing still got plenty because that closet right there actually curls around behind that side of the entertainment center. If you choose to add a TV here in the bedroom, you're staring directly at it, which is cool. Extra dresser drawer storage over here. But as we get past the second entry door, which does have a deadbolt for security purposes, you see we've got like what looks like another closet over here in the corner. Check this thing out. And it kind of curls around uh, behind the bathroom a little bit. But you can see that's a hanging closet space. You've got dresser storage uh, down below with the triple drawers down there. I mean, it's different, but they really utilized every single ounce of space they possibly could in here. Another thing is this RV, Jacob was way ahead of the curve on this. Everybody and their brother is some kind of solar prep or has a solar package. Jacob was doing that for years. You can see right here, it is all wired on the roof uh, with a solar prep plug. And if you choose to add that, this is where you would mount your charge controller. Now, if you're interested in things like Moride Stable Steps, we can assist you uh, with all that just down the street at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, you know, we've got our full parts and service department down there. Uh, but this was made just the season before a lot of that became available. But the year that they first went to that, I call it Spaceship Nose Cap. That's the year that I really felt like, ooh, White Hawk's getting super serious. And it's interesting because a lot of people want to compare this for some reason to something... Uh, Maybe like a passport, a conventional ultralight. Whitehawk, though, if you really start looking it up, if you look at its equipment, it actually is a much better 
uh, direct parallel to something like a Keystone Cougar that we might have down at Halitz, which is what I call an ultralight plus. It's a little heavier. It's a little more highly equipped. And actually, one of the things that Jayco didn't know the year that they built this, because they never tested it, was that this is actually zero degree capable. They never advertise White Hawks as such, but uh, in the current 2021 model year, they actually did cold chamber them and found out, oh hey, look at that, we actually can be zero degree rated. Very cool. So this does have a heated, enclosed, insulated, radiant barrier belly, radiant barrier floor, all kinds of good things to help keep the heat in and the cold out. And of course, you pull your shades and those tinted windows and the light skin colors will help keep you very cool and comfortable in the summertime. Look at all those windows, buddy. Heck yes. You get to see everything with those things. Now, this is where I was saying on the back of the dinette, there's access to that rear storage bench. If you want to, you could still lift the cushions and get to all the storage space, but you don't have to. And you can see how this is completely segmented. It's uh, There's little partition walls for the, uh, the L bench, the seating bench on the side portions right there. As we uh, work our way toward the middle of the camper, you're going to see your, your sewer hookups, you know, power, water, all that. Black tank flush, camp shower, good things, and a wide stance stability axle system here. And that will basically help a, a shorter wheelbase vehicle tow this more easily. It'll take a lot of the twist and wiggle out of it. And that uh, those are Goodyear Endurance radials. At the time, uh, there was nobody else in the towable RV market. Well, I'm sorry, the mainstream towable RV market. There were a couple specialized guys using Goodyear Endurance radials. And Jayco has stuck with it. And since then, you're watching groups like uh, Rockwood and a few others say, all right, all right, you win. Everybody's asking us about those tires. I guess we need to have them too. Jayco's been doing it longer. Kind of like the LED taillights. This has the J Smart lighting system on it where your turn signals like this side clearance uh, marker over here next to this baggage door, that will blink when you turn uh, left. And well, obviously you gotta flip on your left blinker, which those are those are not suggestions, guys. You know, tell tell your friends, uh, the, the people who just like change lanes without using them, it's, it's th those are not suggestions. Those are actually really, really handy for everybody else. <laughs> now, the reason I wanted to take you through that little cubby hole back there is with this being a front living room, it doesn't have a traditional front pass-through compartment instead what they do because it has a rear bedroom and you've got those like dual closets in the bench is that storage runs below those closets and the bench kind of nice uh she is rear view camera ready uh down below the uh the ladder just below the bumper there's a gas grill quick connect as well so if you want to do a little bit of black stone griddling grilling what have you out here you're good to go but if you notice, as we go down to even the campsite of it, every little nook and cranny opens up and does something. Below the entertainment center, you've got a storage pocket there. If you wanted to, both entry doors are wider. You could put the stable steps on both, if you're interested. That's stuff we can assist you with. And then over here, just there's this random pocket of space below the bathroom closet. And they said, you know, it's behind the toilet. Nobody can ever reach it. So why don't we open it up from the outside? So this could be the perfect spot to keep all your, like, uh, picnic table stuff, you know, they really did a good job utilizing every single ounce they could on this thing. Now I see a lot of RVs, and when I see something was never used, I start asking myself questions like, okay, was it also never maintained? And that doesn't appear to be the case here. This was stored away from the weather. The roof, the seals, the skin, the decals, the tires. Everything looks good. Up here on the Jayco Magnum Trust uh, roof system, that big vaulted roof with the plywood roof decking that we're walking on. And Whitehawk also has a, a plywood floor with an aluminum skeleton, basically just like a Eagle, North Point, Pinnacle, the luxury fifth wheels from Jayco. This is built the same, it's just a smaller trailer. And that's kind of why I call it that Ultralight Plus. And there, uh, that black plug right there, that would be your solar prep uh, plug if you want to go panel crazy. You got plenty of space up here to do it. So if she looks good, give us a call. P Hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything between. We do it all at Advantage One RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.